Chapter 22. Deuteronomy 22, 1-4. Of Humanity Toward Brethren. 1. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ox or his sheep go astray, and hide thyself from them, etc. Brother is a term of extensive application, comprehending persons of every description, not a relative, neighbor, or fellow countryman only, but any human being, known or unknown, a foreigner, and even an enemy. Exodus 23, 4. The duty inculcated is an act of common justice and charity, which, while it was taught by the law of nature, was more clearly and forcibly enjoined in the law delivered by God to his people. Indifference or dissimulation in the circumstances supposed would not only be cruelty to the dumb animals, but a violation of the common rights of humanity, and therefore the dictates of natural feeling, and still more the authority of the divine law, enjoined that the lost or missing property of another should be taken care of by the finder, till a proper opportunity occurred of restoring it to the owner. Deuteronomy 22, 5-12. The sex to be distinguished by apparel. 5. The woman shall not wear that which put any thun to a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment though disguises were assumed at certain times in heathen temples, it is probable that a reference was made to unbecoming levities practiced in common life. They were properly forbidden, for the adoption of the herbal elements of the one sex by the other is an outrage on decency, obliterates the distinctions of nature by fostering softness and effeminacy in the man impudence and boldness in the woman as well as levity and hypocrisy in both, and, in short, it opens the door to an influx of Song of Solomon many evils that all who wear the dress of another sex are pronounced an abomination unto the Lord. 6, 7. If a bird's nest chance to be before thee this is a beautiful instance of the humanizing spirit of the Mosaic law in checking a tendency to wanton destructiveness and encouraging a spirit of kind and compassionate tenderness to the tiniest creatures. But there was wisdom as well as humanity in the precept, for, as birds are well known to serve important uses in the economy of nature, the extirpation of a species, whether of edible or ravenous birds, must in any country be productive of serious evils. But Palestine, in particular, was situated in a climate which produced poisonous snakes and scorpions, and the deserts and mountains would have been overrun with them as well as immense swarms of flies, locusts, mice, and vermin of various kinds if the birds which fed upon them were extirpated, Michaelis. Accordingly, the counsel given in this passage was wise as well as humane, to leave the hen undisturbed for the propagation of the species while the taking of the brood occasionally was permitted as a check to too rapid an increase. 8. Thou shalt make a battlement for thy roof, that thou bring not blood upon thine house, if any man fall from thence the tops of houses in ancient Judea, as in the east still, were flat, being composed of branches or twigs laid across large beams, and covered with a cement of clay or strong plaster. They were surrounded by a parapet breast high. In some of the roof is a favorite resort for coolness, and accidents would frequently happen from persons incautiously approaching the edge and falling into the street or court, hence it was a wise and prudent precaution in the Jewish legislator to provide that a stone balustrade or timber railing round the roof should form an essential part of every new house. 9. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with divers seeds, see on Leviticus 19, 19. 10. Thou shalt not plough with an ox and an ass together whether this association, like the mixture of seeds, had been dictated by superstitious motives and the prohibition was symbolical, designed to teach a moral lesson, 2 Corinthians 6, 14, may or may not have been the case, but the prohibition prevented a great inhumanity still occasionally practiced by the poorer sort in oriental countries. An ox and ass being of different species and of very different characters, cannot associate comfortably, nor unite cheerfully in drawing a plough or a wagon. The ass being much smaller and his step shorter, there would be an unequal and irregular draught. Besides, the ass, from feeding on coarse and poisonous weeds, has a fetid breath, which its yoke fellow seeks to avoid, not only as poisonous and offensive, but producing leanness or, if long continued, death, 
and hence, it has been observed always to hold away its head from the ass and to pull only with one shoulder. 11. Thou shalt not wear a garment of divers sorts, the essence of the crime, Zephaniah 1, 8, consisted, not in wearing a woolen and a linen robe, but in the two stuffs being woven together, according to a favorite superstition of ancient idolaters, see on Leviticus 19, 19. 12. Thou shalt make thee fringes upon the four quarters, or, according to some eminent biblical interpreters, tassels on the coverlet of the bed. The precept is not the same as Numbers 15, 38. 13 to 30. If a man take a wife, etc. The regulations that follow might be imperatively needful in the then situation of the Israelites, and yet, it is not necessary that we should curiously and impertinently inquire into them. Song of Solomon Far was it from being unworthy of God to leave such things upon record, that the enactments must heighten our admiration of his wisdom and goodness in the management of a people Song of Solomon perverse and Song of Solomon given to irregular passions. Nor is it a better argument that the scriptures were not written by inspiration of God to object that this passage, and others of a like nature, tend to corrupt the imagination and will be abused by evil disposed readers, than it is to say that the sun was not created by God, because its light may be abused by wicked men as an assistant in committing crimes which they have meditated. Horn.